live in split core land most of the time, and whether it's split or just in between. But oh. that doesn't split, does it? Oh, it's a five way, is well, it? Well, it goes basically humbucker to single and then. Show me I'm with the sure. stick of loudness. So, full humbucker. <laughs> It's very kind of country and bright, but you get yeah. loads of like. You can tell each note in a chord when you split it for some reason, as yeah. when you're on a bridge humbucker. It gets a bit too like. So you are mainly in a split sound? All the time. <laughs> Dude, Ready. I live in a split yeah. sound position. I'm almost always in the middle and I tap it out. Yeah. But then I play heavy music like that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I you. love it. I, like, because you just get more kind of percussiveness and like string stuff. Yeah. And it's just great. How interesting. But I like humbuckers because you can split them and do the combination thing with a humbucker and a single. Yeah. Like the strat thing is cool when you can have two singles, but I like the sound of a humbucker and a single split. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's How slightly interesting. different. My name is Pete. I used to be a touring session musician for 30 years, 25, 30 years. Um, done world tours, arena tours, just touring with quite big acts, you know, been very lucky to do all that stuff. Started playing guitar at 11 and never stopped. I don't think there's a point where Pete ends and the guitar starts. I think it's just, it's kind of all in. Do you know what I mean? Well, I don't know. What key? What chords? It's just E, A, G. Designing his signature guitar, we've referred to him as our John Mayer because he's been so exacting. And I think that's brought us closer together as part of a kind of Chapman family. What Pete does on a daily basis is he can walk into the Anderton store and he can have the pick of any guitar in that store. Yeah. The options for him are, are endless and it's mm. made that, that journey quite challenging at times. He does make me laugh like a drain. He's just got a lot of time for his friends and if you've got his back, he'll definitely have yours. <laughs> Dan is very invested in the company. Whenever I speak to him about uh, a guitar I'd like to use or anything, it's every, they're just so informative. The communication is great. And, well, Rob likes to call it like the Chapman family. And it is pretty much a family because uh, you're not talking to a, a, like this big corporation where you feel like you're just a number, everything else. It's basically a handful of people that are dedicated to what they do. Dan <laughs> is a massive <laughs> 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 No, I mean, Dan, Dan and, uh, and Alex are just, they've been working so hard. Uh, you know, I was speaking to Alex and um, back and forth about the factory. And I mean, those guys are just, you know, they're part of the family and they're part of being part of pushing it all forward. They are such a crucial part of the team, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, you know, you see, it, it's like when you got that, uh, the, the big Viking boat and they're all pulling the oars, they're just going boom, boom. You know, I need a grown-up to look after me. <laughs> Dan's a very responsible adult. Yeah, he is. He's the dad, isn't he? Because yeah. otherwise, I mean, I need adult supervision <laughs> most of the time. So um. Both of them really haven't been with the company a huge amount of time. No. They came in off the back of 
uh, all the, the COVID pandemic and stuff. Yeah. And, and we've had a lot, loads of little things that you just wouldn't really consider. Like so many big companies bought up all of the screws. Alex's first day is like, this is <laughs> this is what you've got to try and Yeah, yeah. Find do. screws, and, find um, springs and all sorts. Yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, some people would just kind of walk into a situation like that and go, no, this is team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. They're not scared of a challenge, yeah, you know. Both Pick of them. The phone. Both of them were just like, one, roll yeah. up the sleeves, yeah. get stuck in, yeah. and uh, yeah. and go for it. John, in fact, didn't pack any shorts. So <laughs> I started feeling the heat when he got here. Um, I've been a Chapman artist for, if I'm not mistaken, the past three, four years. Obviously, I get to use the guitars, and in my case, I use them quite often, whether it's here at the studio or or live. And there is always something that is. Um, fit for the job, like even just this ML3. This is the ML3 Pro X, the first guitar Chapman made was effectively a signature guitar for Rob and he didn't know I mean much like you played so many different guitars yeah. loved all of them for different reasons didn't know what he wanted so he kind of just asked people on the internet yeah that was and, the, and, yeah. and that that's really what's what started everything and that was a HSS uh, ML1 so an S type after we had our 10 year anniversary we did a sort of reissue uh, this is now what we can do with with that configuration because you know the company's changed a lot, what we're capable of, of doing and the yeah, yeah. parts and all that sort of stuff is all a, an upgrade, I guess. But in that time, one of the shapes that that have uh, been associated to Chapman, I think, is, is probably the, the ML3. Yeah, absolutely. So after we did our anniversary guitar, it was kind of, well, what, what next? Yeah. And the logical thing was, well, you know, well, this isn't a configuration you see very often. No. Nope. Um, and why not? It's It's a really useful... Uh, configuration you can get so many different kind of tones and vibes out of it yeah and it harks back to a kind of origin story of Chapman but again it's it's bringing what we've learned and what we've become associated with in the community and stuff yeah uh, which is the ml3 shape and, yeah. and that's kind of the, the the idea and concept behind this guitar and I think it's come out really well it's um, come out really really well yeah 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 it's, it's um, really a cool and again it's it's a bit of a workhorse in in, in that respect that Particularly in the studio, you can just get so much out of it. Yeah, it's a good-looking guitar as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, there's something is. about a binding on a T-style that just. This guitar basically stems from the. I've got this purple Fender, um, which is a custom shop, which was one of three that was made for Music Mesa in 2014. You're yeah, not going to address the purple thing. We're not going to talk about that. One of those guitars came into Anderson second hand. First time I picked it up, it was the perfect guitar. It was everything about it was fun. It was that guitar, I was drawn to it and it was drawn to me. You know, we talked to Rob and Dave and stuff. I want people to have that experience of playing my, that guitar. <laughs> really scanned it and we did all these different things and just tried to put the essence of that purple guitar together into a guitar that if I look away it's like playing the purple guitar you know what I mean yeah. and you guys nail it I mean yeah. you got you, you nail it you know it was very much about finding the, the the DNA of yeah of what that guitar was what made it what it was yeah. and finding a way to be able to replicate yeah there is a UK version of it you know a more expensive one uh, which you can buy if you want, but this is like, you know, it's approachable for most people. We tried it with this calm calf, that was five or six different iterations of that. And then we tried it without this, without this, but with this and without that and both, the, you know, and then uh, we put a little uh, uh, belly carb in here. As you said, you played a lot of guitars yeah. and a lot of T guitars from all sorts of different yeah. manufacturers. They all have their slight different take, different yeah. things that they're doing. There's elements there that you've kind of gone, actually, bit of that. Yeah, you know, a, a bit, bit of that, bit, bit, yeah. bit of this kind of thing. Yeah. In some some areas, 
like less than one mil radius of a yeah. roll on, on just an element, whether it's up here or down here. Or, or here, or yeah, 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 yeah. We had to map all of that and get it just right. And there, you know, <laughs> that, I think that's, for, for me, that's where it got so, so it's... sort of um, specific. Chapman is based on the influence of the community yeah. and, and the family and, and the musicians and the players and, and that sort of thing. And so there are things that we've learned and achieved through doing this design process. Yeah that will certainly find their way into In, and you uh, know what? other models, you know. The, 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 um, the fact that you guys have been so great to work with that, you know, I'm just really happy that, <laughs> that yeah. everybody has nailed it so well I, that I, when I, I just go, <laughs> it's just, it, for me, it's great. I'll play this all day long. I can do everything with it. I can do the... Oh, and the same guitar go. Like, like without turning volume or tone or anything up, just by switching a pickup, you know. Yeah. One of the things that I really enjoyed in the process of this guitar yeah. was, the, was the finish, not, not necessarily the, the colour, yeah. the finish. The finish of it. Um, was, was really interesting because it's, it's not gloss, it's not satin, it's not, any, like, it's, it's a solid colour, but it has this wood grain. It's got, You've got wood grain through it, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's... It is something that you kind of feel and, and resonates. And we tried different mixtures of satin and gloss. And, yeah. and what happened to the sound and the feel, whether it felt choked, whether it was open, yeah. and trying to get that specific blend. Yeah. Even the, the, the bridge, because, again, obviously we've worked with Trev Wilkinson yeah. on, on a lot of this. Stuff. He's yeah. had input in this as well. Yeah. And looking at the original bridge plates, the material, the, the, the stamped steel and stuff, yeah. the way that it interacts with the magnetic field of the pickups yeah. <laughs> it's like, is such a specific thing. Yeah. And the mass as well. So the ashtray style, yeah. you know, that's part of... The way it sits of, onto of the, the body. Way that it sits, yeah. yeah, and, and the way it's and interacting even, with the magnetic field. It's the accumulative effect of all of these specific little things yeah. where you get into the finite details and yeah and uh and, and i think that's what that's the story of this guitar yeah really. oh, it's great though it's it's good. Good. I need to fucking run. I love to stay. I don't want to do it again. I'll buy you flights tomorrow. Come on, I'll have a go and do it. Come on, do some gigs. We'll plan it. We'll see how it goes. We'll plan it. We'll set up everything from the front. Yeah, absolutely. I just love this sound. I just love that.